I'm so fucking bored. I was looking at motorcycle rallies. I like motorcycle rallies, actually. <laughs> They're too loud for me. They uh, are loud. I do have to wear headphones and shit or plug my ears, but that's because um, I've got some problems with synesthesia. Like, I see fucking sound. Does that make sense to anybody? Like, like loud bass lumpy noises? Oh, shit. That's... that's yeah, nothing's going on here. Oh, we're, looking, we're looking for chicks, right? Chicks. Yeah. I'm gonna go down to Midtown if it lets me. <laughs> Anybody in Midtown? Anybody? Anybody? Ah, uh, dicks. Nobody. Cool. Fine. Whatever. Oh, I didn't gosh. want to date anybody anyway. Every girl, I did blood. Every girl I've met so far has been fucking crazy. Let's summon. Let's, uh... Let's go with Razor. I am gonna get you to, to fucking watch Maniac Mansion at some point. <laughs> it sounds so familiar. Okay. Alright, Razor. You... Best girl. No, I'm just gonna send her after Karen. Some of she might actually be able to get info on. Yeah, I know you don't want to fucking do it. Just, just go. Ah, leave my hamster alone, fucking psycho. <laughs> no, Razor. I keep telling. This is like the fourth time I told you. Razor is the character in Maniac Mansion who nukes a hamster. Oh right, I just hear hamster and I just lose it. I'm so pretty, I could be a K-pop star. They are pretty, gotta say. Man, I want to hire. I want to hire that fucking nerd with their makeup artists. Shit. Oh, if I could wear makeup without it hurting my eyes, hell yes. Well, yeah, that's part of it. I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear makeup to the concert tonight. It's gonna be fun. I don't know how much. My skin's been a real bitch since working with uh, lime and cement on my house. But, oh, uh, that's true. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... Oh, you actually. Did you actually get me something? Oh, no, she did. You look so happy there for a second. Jeez. Okay, so today should be our date. Um. Let me just check it. Yeah, no, today should be the date. It's, it's it's Sunday. So let's call for another date, for another week out, and then go on our date. It's so weird, like, I'm about to come see you, and I could have asked this in person, but then, ah, you want to go on a date next week? Yeah. They, they, didn't, they didn't program it that way. That's not my fault. Yeah, no, it's just, just weird. So I know you're seeing me this Sunday today, but how about next Sunday next time? Yay! She said yes to <laughs> It will be fun. I always have fun when I'm with you, Anna. You don't make me wear electrodes or flagellate myself for Jesus or try to mount me when I'm saying no or treat me like a little boy in a diaper or make me spank you and tell you what you can and can't do like a daddy. Are extremely racist. Specious. Oh. Oh, what's the matter, Makimura san? You just stopped so suddenly. Oh, well, well we haven't had this date in a long time. Oh, yeah, sorry. Fuck, what's the answer? <laughs> Do you see that over there, Monoku? No. Huh? It's over there up in that big tree, that large branch. See that little bird nest? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, uh-huh. How did you notice that? Wow. Do you have demon eyes too? Wow. <laughs> oh, I just like taking walks so much. I can take my time and enjoy all the scenery while we're going. All right. Oh, if I remember correctly, we said that sounds just like you, Makimura-san, chant number three. Because I know that just, uh, hold on, that's like old people. <laughs> Is no good. First off, walks are awesome. Leave your fucking house, people. Um, I don't remember if it's boy. I sure love going for walks too, or if it sounds like you. I think it's I like going for walks too. Yeah, I think it's like I like walks too. Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, you sure sounds like you, you weird bitch. You know, I no. really think... No, I, I think when I say... Well, we did save, so let's just go the first one. Well, no, I, I think when we did this one, this might be the right answer because she was flattered that we think she notices small scenery details because she's an artist. But we could, yeah, if we have to reload for one day, it's not a deal. Oh, you do, huh? Yes. Oh, yeah, you know, sometimes a nice breeze blows through and it's so refreshing. Oh, Maki Murasan! You're giggling, why? Oh, no, oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> no reason. I'm just so glad that I, I enjoy walking with you too, mono -kun. Oh, <laughs> I, for some reason, it's embarrassing a little bit. No, it's not. It's perfect. I love you. You're adorable. Though, I'm enjoying it. Even though you wear a mustard-colored shirt, which isn't flattering to your skin tone or hair. And that you wanted to compliment it with a blue bow, but you know, no one's looking. You know, whatever. You should have made your shirt green. That would have looked really, really nice with your hair. Like a nice yeah, color. Like, like the nice scenery's ground green. So? So? It would look nice. I know. <laughs> Oh, do you think so? <laughs> yes, good impression. Oh, we made such a heartwarming and peaceful and relaxing mood. Yay! Nah. Yay, okay, so someone else. Nah. We did raise her, let's go with Cory. Oh, yeah! Yes, it's gotta be a vampire, I mean... Shouldn't you be hunting demons? <laughs> Do you have a cousin named Yoko? I haven't watched that in a long time, totally Could should. you teach me how to do rope braids? Oh, Jesus, I... I once did... Um... Demon Hunter Yoko's hairdo it is a real bitch. Um, for everybody wondering, I used to have three foot long hair. Um, I actually, yeah. actually missed my long hair. Um, I buzzed it off uh, in solidarity with Palm's cancer. Um, I've only cut my hair four times in my whole life. Jesus, I've cut my hair more than you? And twice, twice was to shave it off. Oh yeah, you do go extreme. I've never gone that short. You know, it's actually pretty nice going super short. Right now, it's at a point where it looks like I just need a haircut real bad, but having it really short... Um, I don't know, it's actually kind of fun having it short. Like, your head's fuzzy, you can rub your head, it feels nice. Right now, I, in fact, I have to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair for the concert, which will be around tonight, so... <laughs> I keep telling you, Mohawk. I I'm gonna level Full with you. Hawk. I just don't, do it. I don't know if I can side braid my hair that well. It doesn't even have to be side braids. You just put little ponytails, and you just with like little hair bands. And you just make a row of them, and then you just. I mean, I'll be wearing a poncho and some pants. I was gonna wear a skirt, but that that idea is out because my legs are all bruised to shit from working on the house. <laughs> Don't know how much I want everybody to know how much I'm on my knees. Anyway. Well, that then you would probably just look like an abused wife, so. Oh, I kind of do, because like, like the bruises are all over my arms and my legs and shit. It's like, hey, I'm being abused by my house. Yeah, oh god, the only thing abusing me right now is 90 pound sacks of cement. <laughs> Ugh. That's almost a euphemism for something. Oh, that was... Takes oh, that a while was to get hard. Oh, I never... I never accidentally hit this button before. Hold on. Ah! That was interesting. It, it sounds this alarm like, woo, 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 woo. Like, you can't do that. That was weird. Okay, let's go to center. Centerville! Going down to center. Gonna try to find some chicks. No, this is nighttime. Well, we found a couple at nighttime. Remember, we found the first chick. We saved her from dogs. True. So it, it, we found two of them on the last day. So we might find one at night. Yeah, you never know. 
Well, we found that one chick at the club at night. True. Ooh, a lady badge hunter. Perfect. I'm sure she won't die instantly. <laughs> Like, bitch, please. Go on your V somewhere else. She gave me her blessing. Woohoo! <laughs> we slayed that V. <laughs> you bet we did. <laughs> a PNN. Well, oh no, it's my an teachers... ANN. I just realized this <sighs> is an ANN. It's for an AM. Oh my god. Yep. I miss those. Oh, god, I miss Japan. The only place you could get fucking sushi. A meat bun and porn. <laughs> talk about whoa! Holy shit! I was about to say talk about one-stop shopping. Whoa! Uh, it's a man. It's a crow. We don't know. It's a death crow, all right. Whoa! It's giving me. It's giving me overfiend vibes. Yeah, it is. Oh. oh. Suck it! Suck it! You shit! I think he wants to. Oh, yeah, he wants to nail you, all right. Oh, Jesus. And for all oh. you older cats, 18 and over, you should watch the dub version of Legend of the Overfiend. <laughs> yes. Fucking hilarious. 18 and over. We totally it, didn't watch that. It's a fucking that. hentai. 18 and over. <laughs> totally, we totally didn't watch that before we turned 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, not not at all. You know, hey, it's anime, it's on VHS. What could possibly go wrong? The parents are gone. Two hours of fucking laughter. That's some of the best comedy ever made. Yeah, I don't even remember much of the sex. I remember the dub being fucking hilarious. Yes. Quotable to this day. You release my O? You asshole? You asshole? <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> Well, that's just that. Well, also, we still say our fucking inside jokes, too. You want like, to fuck a cami, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> you can! You can! <laughs> My kids are sitting behind me right now going, what? You're welcome, <laughs> Summertime. <laughs> okay, it wasn't You're that You're welcome, bad. kids. Whoever. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, Kimmy, uh, Kimmy, uh, 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 Kimmy. <laughs> it is like the least hot thing ever created. <laughs> so not. And yet, it's it's, just... it's dicks destroying Tokyo is just mwah, dick comedy. lasers destroying Tokyo with virgin baby savior. Come <laughs> on, how much brains can you get? <laughs> oh, another Naga. Talk about dick blazer. <laughs> so like you said dick blazer. <laughs> that too. <laughs> wow, he only does 13 to me now? Jeez, it's not that much. And he's dead. Okay. Yeah, I think I think yeah, I think we put we put that on because we had already finished watching Utana. Oh, Utana was so good. We just I already talked about that. We recently rewatched Utana because I wanted Crystal to see it. Well, for you, it's kind of like watching it brand new because you you're having your kids watch yeah. what we grew up with at their yeah. age. So it's like fresh and brand new for me. I it's had like, to yeah, share. No, I had to fucking share. It's like oh, sharing yeah. Sailor Moon for me, like. For me, there's not one without the other. And if you haven't seen Revolutionary Girl Utena, you should. Well, there, you know, there's actually a lot of people who hated it. Because they oh, did Oh yeah, get... I mean, that's with any anime, but... Well, no, I mean, like, they didn't understand the symbology. Um, Utena is entirely about growing up and going through puberty and escaping an abusive life. Um, basically, to spoil Utena, without spoiling it, I would just like to tell, or like to say, Utena is not the main character of Utena. 
Amphi is the main character of Utena, and in fact, I could make a pretty compelling argument that Utena didn't actually exist. And I could do that. No, I, no, I think she did exist, but I think in Amphi's mind, she's just, it was the exemplified version of her. No, um, I think Utena did not exist, and I think Amphi was Utena. And that's why when Utena quote-unquote disappears at the end of the show, see, now I'm just fucking spoiling it now. Um, and Anthe finally leaves her abusive brother. That's, that's what ha actually happens. Utena didn't actually exist. Oh, so what you're saying with the symbolism, you think all of that's happening with the Anthe's head. Was in Anthe's mind, yes. Like all the battles fighting everybody was a different aspect Was her of growing up and, um... Yes. Figuring coping, herself coping out. With the sexual abuse of her brother. Yes. And understanding that she's free now. She can leave. She doesn't have to be there and be his thing. That does make more sense. Yes. I always thought so. Where's my... Come on, give me my fucking... You're gonna have to put a big spoiler alert. Oh, I know. <laughs> but like, it's, it's so good. For me, Utena is up there with Sailor Moon and Cowboy Bebop. Like, oh, yeah. God damn, I fucking love Cowboy Bebop. Oh, that's just iconic right there. Cowboy Bebop, uh, Serial Experiments Lane. Oh, I still God. watch that shit. It's funny watching Lane now because now the technology's all super fucking old. True, <laughs> with the technology aspect, the but when you look at the social norms and, and all the psychological shit going on, it makes a lot. Still, still stands yes. today. Yes, yes, it does. If you get past the whole computer shit, kind of like hackers, right? God, I shouldn't, I shouldn't Hacker talk about Cowboy Bebop because I literally remember the first time me and my friend, whose name is also Cassie, we watched the end of Cowboy Bebop together, and we fucking cried. <laughs> Who didn't cry? Oh God! Just My in case, husband cried. Just in case no one has seen the cry. end of that. Just in case no one has seen the end of that, I'm not gonna say what happens. Oh my nope. God! 